Hey everyone, I'm Deep Space Luke. Welcome to the Gamer Mania PC Zone with my brand new rig as I begin World of Warcraft. Now this is a fantasy MMO game that I've wanted to play for a very long time and it's one that I know practically nothing about with its story, its digital lands and its magical lore. I don't know anything which makes it really exciting to begin today. WoW was launched in 2004 and it's had over seven major expansions, so I have a lot of catching up to do. Please join me today as I set up my character and take my first steps into the world of Warcraft. World of Warcraft, Battle for Azeroth. Ours is a cycle of hatred. Alliances forged and broken. We have paid the price for sharing this world. And we have forgotten what makes us strong. My king, we have her cornered. Oh. Beasts. Keep firing. So these are the two factions, the Alliance and the Horde. Fighting each other, are they? I do not like the look of them. Oh, okay. So this cinematic's given me some combat tips already. Shoot arrows. Whoa. So I hate to make it black and white. But are the Horde the bad guys, or the good guys, or is it one of those morally ambiguous things? I've got a decision to make. Alliance or Horde? Oh, who am I kidding? I'm a good guy. The real question is, what class shall I go for? Warrior? Oh, we get nice little uh, outfits. Hunter, rogue, priest. Very much like Dungeons and Dragons, this. Which I'm a big fan and player of. See, in a lot of role-playing games like this, I tend to go for the generic sort of soldier class, which I believe warrior would be. But I kind of feel like I'm not going to get the whole picture of this game if I don't experiment with magic a little bit. So I am really tempted to be a paladin. Because I can protect the weak with heavy armor and shields and holy powers. Oh yeah, I've gone from having an awesome armour outfit to some basic rags and one of those large mallets you use at fairgrounds. Well, if you don't think it's too shallow, I'm going to try and create myself. Since I'm going for a human character, I might as well do it once. Because in real life I look like the most generic guy with a Luke Skywalker haircut, I'm going to end up creating the most generic looking guy here. Thamidor. He's going to be Thamidor. Door for short to his friends. Let's enter the world. He is a level 1 paladin. In the Defiance Brotherhood RP realm. Oh, here we go. This is exciting. Emboldened by the return of their heroic king, Varian Rin, the proud humans of Stormwind led the Alliance to victory in its war against the dreaded Lich King. While successful, the campaign in Northrend proved costly, and the humans now seek to bolster their strategic holdings throughout the world. Under Varian's daring leadership, Humanity now braces itself for a renewed conflict with its perennial enemy, the Horde. Yes, them. Yet, as the great cataclysm rips across the world, familiar threats have once again arisen closer to home. It now falls to you to defend the kingdom and uphold the honor of humanity. I'll do my best. Okay. Marshal McBride, please give me my first quest. Well met. Well met, indeed. So you're the new recruit from Stormwind, eh? I'm Marshal McBride, commander of this garrison. Glad to have you on board. Doesn't look like he's looking for any papers. He's looking like he's doing a bit of exercise. Oh no, some Black Rock Orcs have managed to sneak into Northshire. So the quest is to kill six Black Rock Wargs. Okay. I'll get some gloves for my for my troubles and a bit of a uh, bit of money. Okay, yeah, sure. Go with honor, friend. I've uh, got the map. 
close. Might be with you. Hooray! I defeated my first enemy in World of Warcraft, Black Rock Warg. He was a good boy, but he was an angry boy. Oh yes, I've got to loot them. I found some uh, rabbit, a uh, rabbit's foot. Oh no, that's sad. Who are you? Oh, you're a spy. What are you watching? How these wargs are doing? Not on my watch, sir. You know, if I was a new recruit, you think they'll give me some armor, something basic? I've, I've just got some peasant clothes on here. Oh no, even even bigger problems. Oh my god, I've reached level 2 already! Go me! How do I equip these? Oh, right click them. There we go. Oh, right, now I've got a bit of armour going on. I've got some gloves. That'll really help. Can you see anything? Oh, he clapped. Thank you. <laughs> okay, we've turned out to be quite an asset to this garrison. It's time for you to train at last! So I get an infantry belt. Excellent. Ta-da! And I'm already level 3. Hello. You need something? Uh, no, not from you. If you're wounded. How are you? Uh, ooh, that was a little bit forward. The way you said that, I'm just gonna back out of here. Ugh, those goblin assassins. See you later. Yeah, you might do. Brother Paxson. What can I do for you? Have you embraced the holy light yet, brother? Oh, it's asking me if I've found Jesus, isn't he? Oh, I see it's an injured soldier. Okay, I'll do my best to heal him. There we go. Those little cheeky goblins. Big whack of the mallet. <laughs> I love that death animation. That's awesome. And you have some copper on you. Thank you. Oh, someone else. Another soldier to revive with my magic. Oh, I'm a hero. At this rate, I'll be a level 79 warlord in no time. Too busy playing Warcraft. Level 79 warlord. That's not even such a thing as a warlord class. Take my fire extinguisher and extinguish the flames at the vineyard. Okay. Okay, what about you? What do you sell? You need something? Yes, I oh yes. Yes, I definitely want a tough hunk of bread. I love bread. Trust me guys, I really, really love bread. Look how happy I am. Nice. <laughs> uh, oh, as I look oh, yeah. Okay, so oh this is cool. I didn't realise this. You can actually have um different standing with different factions so it's not just not just automatically oh I'm against the horde there are different races in the alliance as well by the looks of things I suppose I better fight this fire then oh no here we go these are the bad boys now to fight this fire I don't want to get too close to it really aha uh -huh. I can use the quest item Nice fire extinguisher. Very effective. I know it isn't exactly like for like. This just gives me a lot of nostalgia for stuff like RuneScape. Things I played when I was a teenager. In fact, this first came out when I was a teenager. I do recall playing it briefly around a friend's house. But it's just something that's passed me by. I haven't been interested in it before. And, and now I just feel it's something I want to really play and get into. It's on my bucket list of games. What happens when you die? I'm actually going to die. Oh. You died. Left click on release spirit to continue. Press M to open your map and find your corpse. What's this all about? Okay, it's over there. Who, who is that? You can find your corpse and resurrect at that location. Players at a level 10 or below can resurrect here with no penalty. Okay. Thank you, mysterious angel creature. This is mass swamp. Last one. I know I'm just I'm just putting out a fire. There we go. Yes, yes, right, now I'll turn my attention to you. Like I tried to put out as many fires as I could, but I really think the vineyard's done for. Like there are not very friendly people here. Completely incinerated. I might still be able to recover, right? How can I, how bad can it be? Well, I'll, I'll leave you to that, I think. Have a good one. Oh no, there's a leader. Kurtok the Slayer, responsible for the recent invasion, must be killed if we're to have peace in the valley. Oh, hello. More work. 
Um. Uh. What? He. Uh. I. Are you? No. What is it? I'm. I'm just gonna. <clears throat> is that a friend? Is that a good boy? Oh, I want a good boy. It's a pet. And here, I believe, is the boss area. Kurtok the Slayer. Are we going to have a little face-off, first of all? Yeah, go on, let's have a face-off. I'm going to print screen this. This is epic. Kurtok the Slayer! Yes, and I come out victorious as the hero I am. Oh, the Hearthstone. I'm going to loot him first. He had... He's pretty poor for a for a boss, but okay. A bit of magic here. Some big glowy leaves. Oh, I was interrupted. Oh, it's him again. That's no... What? Hang on a second. This isn't fair. You were just you were just dead. I just killed you. Oh, I've defeated two of you now. Just just stay down. I mean, clearly he was meant for the next player to come along. Well, with the only logic being that this is called World of Warcraft, I'm going to select the Warhammer. And rise to level 5. I've really enjoyed this little tutorial. It's um, informative and entertaining. And now I'm heading to Goldshire to take some documents there. But first, who's this guy? Hello. Hello? Every adventurer should rest when exhaustion sets in. There's no finer place to get rest and relaxation than the Lion's Pride Inn. Goldshire. Oh, that's a beautiful little village. Here we go. The inn. The Lion's Pride. Speak to the innkeeper to make this inn your new home. Where well, you see, as in Dungeons and Dragons, the inn is always a like a hub of interesting characters and local gossip. Quest givers. A bearskin rug apparently in this case. I supply only the finest goods. Safe travels. Ah, oh, and with that casting, he makes this my home. Well, this seems as good a place as any to take a rest after saving North Shear Valley. I'm a long way off from waging a war like the one seen in the movie at the start, and I've got much to learn and my first city to reach, but the hero's journey of Famador the Paladin has only just begun. So, thank you so much for joining me today, faithful viewers, and a special thank you to Tess, Nay, Steve and Sam for their encouragement and getting me started with World of Warcraft. See you next time on Game Mania.